What up? Matt with the mullet. I am drying out slides for the winter. Mm, yeah, got two left to go. Um, 18 foot princess slide from Jump Orange and a 15 foot rip curl from Bass Wave. But I see a lot of people asking about these hybrid slides. So I'm gonna show you how to do them by myself. I uh, just dropped it. I'm gonna, I'll talk you through it and then I'll fire back up for each fold. Okay, so first off, let me introduce the dogs. That is Fanny. That is Daisy. They're both Ladner Blackmouth Curs. And we squirrel hunt and coon hunt. And if it needs hunting, we'll hunt it. But if you see how I dropped the slide, everybody will always tell you to let your slides fall forward. I don't do that. Uh-uh. Because -uh -uh. um, it always gives you a big hump of fabric to fold over. What I do is I open the front, open the sides, and let it fall straight back. Don't open the back zippers usually. Uh, just let it fall straight back, get the air out of it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make my seams, you know, like you always do, down both sides. Make that seam right there. All the way down both sides. Once I get that done, I will take the step side right here flip it over make one big long rectangle and then i fold the slide lanes back over so what i'm going to do is i'll do each step come back and give a little update okay step one is complete i've got straight seams down that side straight seams down that side all the way to the front and pro tip for those of you guys with slides with palm trees if you roll your slides from back to pool like I do, flip your palm trees back. That way when you roll, the air will shoot out towards the pool. If you roll from pool to back, like some people do, pull your palm trees forward. That way the air will shoot towards the back. It took me a long time to figure that out. But it really does make a difference. Because you'll have a clump of fabric where that palm tree is. And if, it's, if you're rolling from back to front... You've got the palm trees flipped this way. That stuff's got nowhere to go except for end your roll. So test it if you want to, but it works for me. Um, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to take this step and I'm going to fold it over. Just a little bit past that seam right there. And I'm going to do the back and right. I'll be back. Take 10 seconds later, I got that done. It's just a little past that second seam on the step section. The reason it's usually a little past the second seam is you want, let me see if I can find them. Right here is your steps. There's an edge of the step. There's an edge of the step. You want the steps to flip over. That way you're not trying to roll up a bent step. It's a big pain in the tuchus. Usually, it's right past that second seam. You see the back of my slide is still all splayed and flayed. Whatever. I don't care yet. So, I'm going to walk this for a second. Notice I flipped all the way down. I just want it to be straight. I don't really care. Just as long as it's kind of straight. Get off of my slide, dog. Fanny, get. So, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take my slide lane half. So right here are the two slide lanes. I wanna take this half and bring it over. Now, how far you bring it over, that's gonna determine how tall your roll is and how hard it is to stand up. If you bring it all the way over here, you're gonna have a little bitty short fat roll. If you stop it right here at the overlap, you're going to have a pretty tall roll. I shoot for somewhere between that seam and that seam, like right there. That gets me a short enough roll that I can pick the unit up by myself. And as you see, I'm the only one out here other than these goofy cur dogs. So I start at this end and I just pre-fold to try to make it a little easier on myself. Just get a little pre-flip going on. 
And I'll do the same thing up here at this palm tree. Just a little pre-flip. Now, I'm gonna go back there and make the last flip and I'll be right back. Okay, so I made that flip. I did my pre-flips. Now I'm gonna come down here and try to get it mostly straight. Again, it's not perfect. It's not the end of the world. Do some stomping. Now, this right here is what drives people insane. But I'm telling you, it will make your life so much easier. Because instead of having to roll up all this material in your roll, look, just start your roll with it. Squeeze all the air out of it. Get your air out. You don't have a big old clump of fabric to roll through. Super easy. I like to make my last walk down the slide in the direction that I'm rolling. So I'm walking, I'm walking, walking, getting a little air out. Shut up. Sorry. When you get to the end of the slide, look. My straps are already set because this is how I roll it every time. Whether I'm by myself or when I'm with help. There you go. I'll roll it up and I'll show you the finished product. Again, by myself. There you go, guys. All done. I got more units now than what I used to have. So I actually got to start labeling stuff. Before, I just knew what stuff looked like. Now, I gotta label it. So, as you can see, rolled up by myself. All that fabric that was hanging out the back is tucked inside the roll, never to touch the ground or anything else. Good to go for winter storage. Now, it's not a perfect roll. But, it'll make a turd rolled up it's done it's a one-man job um i am in the process of drawing stuff out like i said once i get them rolled like this i'm gonna leave them set overnight because i'm not going back to my storage or warehouse tonight so they'll stay like this that way the dew falls on the top and just rolls off um i'll do those two tomorrow and wet season will be over for the year Thank the Lord. Have a good day.